Argo. Argo. Hey Argo, you want to show him? I guess he's going to make me do it. I don't know why he's all shy now. <laughs> well, good morning from Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan. And what we have here, two geese. Hmm. Okay, that's not actually what we have. <laughs> but, I, ooh, pan over here to the left. There we are. K.E. Barker slowly, silently making their approach into the Pollock here. Just slipping on through, just not hardly even leaving any sign that she was there in the water. Look at that. That's incredible. Wow. That's one of those little uh, buggies that the people who work around the lock here buzz around on you hear it in the background. But otherwise, it's pretty quiet. You can hear some beeping of some equipment in the distance, but... Ah, water's calm, the wind is calm. And that truck has a muffler. Uh, see? <laughs> Today is the 11th, the 11th of April, 2024. And this marks two years to the day since I uh, officially moved here. I signed papers on my house, April 11th, 2022, and moved in that day. <laughs> and realized I had a huge project on my hands. So. <laughs> see a bus over there actually two buses I don't know where all that goose chatter is coming from I don't think it's the two that are just right here. So. <laughs> Might be in just echoing weird. That could be. Oh. Oh no. Kind of missed it, but there was a little bit of a kerfuffle there. Oh, there was some hidden geese. I didn't see them. This is the gangland style. <laughs> it's always funny to me. You know, Canadian geese, they have such a reputation for having not the best attitude. But meanwhile, Canadians have a reputation for having the best attitude. <laughs> I saw this thing and it said the Canadians put all their anger into their geese. <laughs> the water's so calm you can actually see. Can you see it? From where they had to use their thruster. I think it shows up easier for me looking at it. And then they had to give it like another little bump on the thruster there.
as I've gotten older, I've really come to appreciate and enjoy quiet, still mornings like this. I don't really know why exactly. Like what, what the exact allure is other than peacefulness, I guess. But uh, certainly become something I really enjoy. As they vanish behind the stop block, well, okay, not vanish, but you know, <laughs> I gotta get to getting. As always, I have my, my day job to get to. And we both need some food. I'm in desperate need of some coffee. Uh, before I go though, really quick, I was mentioning how I enjoy a nice peaceful morning. I often wonder if that's one of the big things or allures that got me into backpack camping. Because it seems like, oh, there's some pizza crust. None of that for you. I know. We have treats at home that won't make you throw up on the carpet. But uh, cause it seems like when you wake up in the woods, it's always really calm and silent. And the water's always smooth. And it's just lovely. Uh, like one of my very fondest memories. I think I even have a, a picture maybe I'll throw in here. Uh, when I lived in Oregon, it was after uh, elk season. And so this would have been like early October. So autumn was just kind of kicking off there. I was in the woods and Argo and I, we backpacked in to this lake. Had the lake to ourselves and uh, just spent the night, you know, and just was quiet. And next morning it was so peaceful and smooth and I just had this coffee as the sun was rising up kind of over the lake below us. And it just, that, <laughs> that memory was one of my very favorite memories. So hopefully I was able to scrounge up a picture or two of that and throw it in there while I was, uh, I was rambling. But there we go. This is the end of the ramble. And Argo, ooh, he is doing his thing. So on that note, I'm going to wish you a very good day. Uh, stay dry. We're due to get a couple inches of rain here today and tomorrow. And uh, yeah, Argo and I'll be back, as we always are. <laughs> you feel better, dog? I think Betty does.